welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel today i am announcing something really big that you probably already saw by the title of this video but i am pregnant um when i'm filming this i'm nine weeks one day pregnant um i found out at like three weeks five days so i've known for a little over a month now and I am really, really excited and I just wanted to announce it to you guys and kind of tell you some of my symptoms and just a little bit about how, how it's been going. So, um, first question that I know a lot of people are going to have is what is my due date? My due date is actually October 21st, 2022. At five weeks, five days, we got an ultrasound to give me a due date and everything because my TMI and my periods are irregular so the doctor thought I need, might be further along than I was just based on my last period but I was not. I was actually a day off so I thought I was five weeks six days and I was only five weeks five days so she was a little tiny. Um, yeah. Today the baby is the size of a blackberry um, this week. It'll be the size of a cherry, um, like on average. We do know the gender. That'll be in a couple next videos. My friends and family already know the gender, but I haven't obviously posted it here, so I'm gonna announce it here soon. Um, but yeah, I am nine weeks, two, nine weeks, one day, excuse me. I have had a lot of symptoms and some of them have changed, some of them haven't. Um, I haven't had a ton of weird cravings. It's just been like, I need to have, for example, like a quesadilla right now. Um, that's just one random thing. It's not like I have like, oh, I want peanut, butters and, peanut butter and pickles or I want chocolate with pickles. It's nothing weird yet. I have been having a lot of food aversions, which like the first week that I found out I was pregnant, all I really wanted was chicken, which is really weird because I don't usually like chicken all that much. And then now protein, like any chicken, ground beef, I have to be like really in a mood for it. It doesn't sound good otherwise, unless I really, really want it. Um, I've been really, really tired. I've been falling asleep at like eight every night and sleeping till six in the morning. Um, really tired taking naps when I get home from work a lot of times so that's why I haven't been filming a lot just because I didn't want to announce yet but I was so tired that I was falling asleep when I usually film um yeah and I've been very nauseous <laughs> um usually like it's like a range it goes from like 10 to 2 typically there's been some days that I can't get off the couch and luckily that has always been on the weekend when I can't get off the couch so I don't have to call in the work um, but yeah, I've been really tired, pretty nauseous. Um, all of my blood work and everything is looking pretty normal, except that I'm a little bit vitamin D deficient, which is fine. I just got some supplements for that to help with that. And I'll have another appointment, not an ultra but an appointment in like a week from now. So that is kind of what's been going on. Um, what I really haven't been filming, I kind of had to keep it under wraps and that's why I haven't been filming and posting that often. Because it's my first baby and I am only nine weeks long, I am not showing that much. It looks like I had a big lunch, essentially. I just look really bloated. Might I say, the bloat is way different than like period bloat or like if you eat some like salty foods. It like is hard and it hurts. Like any pants like jeans I have to unbutton them if I sit down it hurts to wear them already just because it's just right there on my lower stomach and I am not showing yet but it hurts <laughs> and so I'm thinking about getting like especially leggings my leggings are too tight to wear without being uncomfortable which is kind of sad, so I've been living in sweatpants. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the story of how I found out I was pregnant in this video, but I am going to show you the tests. Um, so this was the first positive I got. Here, let me try to focus it. It's really light, so you might not be able to see it, but the line is like barely, barely there. So same day I thought I saw something, but it was like six 
5.15 in the morning, I did not film myself, which I'm very mad about, but I'll tell you that part of the story later. So I took this test and got a positive, and then I took this test because these are the tests that I had on hand, and then the next day, I went and got first response and took this test. But I will tell you the story in a different video. I've taken probably 15 tests since then, but yeah, now that I've seen it and um, everything, obviously I'm very confident in the results, but I was in shock pretty much, so that's pretty crazy, but I think that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. I'd love to answer any questions that you may have. Please give this video a like and please subscribe and hit that notification bell. There will be a ton of pregnancy content coming here soon. Um, I do want to try to post three times a week again. Um, I was posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I'm going to try to get back on that schedule now that you guys will know that I'm pregnant and that's why and you'll be more forgiving hopefully that I haven't been posting. But thank you guys again for coming and watching this video. Subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.